Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have an interesting problem here. We have a system of equations that has three variables. Okay, let me just copy it down over here. We have a 2x plus 4y plus 9z is equal to 6 minus 8x plus 2y minus z is equal to 8. Okay, I always tell myself, my students, the best way you can guarantee your success in solving system three by three is slow down because if you make one tiny little mistake, the whole thing started falling apart. Okay, so the first thing is I'm gonna eliminate it. Eliminate it so that system of three by three equation I wanted to have by two by two equations. Okay, so basically two variable, two equations. First thing I spotted is that the first equation, x plus y minus z equal to one, and I have minus x minus 8x plus 2y minus z equal to 8. I tell my students, if you have to copy it down, copy it down one more time. Okay, if I subtract the 2, I end up with a 9x, this minus this, this minus this, I have minus y. The z goes away and they equal to minus 7. Okay, this is my first equation that's of the 2 by 2 system. Okay, we're going to do another one. Now keep in mind, I'm getting rid of z's. So when you play this one and this one is already being used, when number two has to be involved, you are looking for canceling the z's. So what I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna copy down the first equation that I need to use. Okay, so every single equation has to be used at least once. And then I'm gonna multiply the first equation by nine so I can cancel the z's. Okay, so I have nine x plus nine y minus 9z equal to 9. The reason I picked the first one is that it has the easiest coefficient. Okay, now let's add those two together. I have 11x plus 13y equal to 15. Okay, now notice how slowly I'm writing. I don't want to make any mistakes because there's no point of solving, keep on solving them if I got those two equations wrong. Okay, let's double check and make sure everything looks fine. Um, for 9, 3, 15. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to solve two system equation over here. I'm going to copy the first one down. Okay, equal to 15. I'm going to get rid of y because uh, I spotted coefficient 1 here. It's simple for me to multiply. So I have 9 times 13 plus, uh, this is actually minus 13y equal to minus 7 times 13. Okay, so all I did was I took this one, I multiplied it by 13 so I can cancel it. Okay, now here, 13, 7, it's 117. 117, so I have a 128x is equal to, this one comes to be a minus 76 altogether, I believe. Uh, 91 and 15, yep, 76. So my x is not a pretty number, but oh well, this is what I, we have. Minus 76 over 128, or x is equal to minus um, 38 over 64. Let's just leave it there. 38 over 64. I do have a factor of 2 again. Let's just leave it for now. Okay, so I'll simplify near the end. After I get x, I'm going to use the equation that 9x minus y equal to minus 7, so that y is equal to 9x plus 7. Okay, so y is equal to 9 times minus 38, 64 plus 7 times 64 and 64. Okay, this number is not as pretty as we like to be, so you got to be really careful when you go through this one. For this, I have 160, 106 over 64. Uh, like I said, it's not a pretty number, but it's not hard. It's just a little on the tedious side. I didn't simplify it all the way down, but in the end, uh, maybe I'll simplify it. So here's my y. And now, let's step. This is a step for y. Okay. This is for step for x. And now let's do the last one, step for z. So I have x plus y minus z equal to 1. From there, I have z is equal to x plus y minus 1. Let's get everything in there. x is minus 38 over 64 plus y, 106 over 64 
minus 1 is 64 over 64. Okay, so when I simplify this one down a little bit, I have 4 over 64. Okay. So z is equal to, let's divide it by 4. What do you have? 64, we can't, 24, let's see, 4, 1, 4, 24, 16. So it's 1 over 16. Z equal to 1 over 16. Let's divide it by 4 over there. So 1 over 6 divided by 4, 2, 8, 26. We can't. So just divided by 2. So my y is equal to 53 over uh, 32. Boy, this is not pretty numbers. Okay. Y is 53 over 32. And then, then let's divide it by over here. So x is equal to minus. Uh, 38 divided by 2, so 2, 19, 19 over 32. Okay, so here is all my answers. Now notice that I, I kind of hesitated to simplify. Each step you take, anytime you simplify a number, you got to be extra careful. That's the trick with the system of three equations. You got to slow down. Now, um, I worked this one out earlier, so I plugged all the number in there. It does indeed satisfy everything. So on your test, make sure you check it by substituting it back in there. All right. Hope this helped, and have a confident day.